Roger, Dave. Copy loud and clear. Continue on. And this is Houston with a comm check. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a lot better, Joe. I thought we lost you there for a minute. Uh, we're hearing every word. Loud and clear. Okay, I guess it was in your configuration down there. Okay, we'll hop up here and get another one. Careful. 
not to kick the dust all over him when you get there. Jim, I see uh, sort of a miniature raindrop here, it looks like. Yeah, just behind you, there's one of those fresh craters, too, with a lot of glass in it. Is it really? Yeah, right behind you. Okay, let's pick up these, get the okay, radio done.
Okay, I'll get the TV. Okay, Joe, going PM1WB. Roger, Dave. Roger, Dave. Jim, could we have a heading reading as you climb on there? Yeah, heading's one, uh, 185, Joe. It'll sound steady as a rock. Thank you. Oh, my, I just kicked up a hole here, and uh, the rim of this little crater seems to be all white, much lighter albedo. Golly, day. Okay, Dave and Jim, and standing by for a mark as you roll. Okay, stand by. Okay, Joe, the time consumer here is the uh, seatbelt operation. Because uh, we definitely need them. And uh, in 16 g we don't compress the suits enough to... Uh, able to squish down and get the seatbelt locked without a certain amount of effort. Roger, we understand. I'll tell you, it's a good seatbelt design. It's a great seatbelt design. Okay, let's check the drive enable. They're all on. Drive power is on. Steering forward to bus A. 15 volts. DC. Ready to go, Jimmy? Ready. Okay, Mark. Uh, Dave, uh, we want steering forward off. And Dave and Jim, as you, as you drive away there, I was a little hasty on my time call. Uh, Mickey's big hand was actually over his head. And uh, we're running about uh, 30 minutes down now, but uh, we're still looking good. Okay. Okay, we're moving, uh, moving out again at about uh, 7, 8 flicks. Getting uh, 180. Head up to. Uh, we want about a 225. Yeah. If we could just find the. Uh... If we drive along, there's several uh, craters, three to uh, five meters in diameter. One out at, uh, rather large one out at uh, one o'clock to us now. We have a heading of uh, 215. It looks fairly recent. There are a lot of angular blocks on the rim of it. Uh, Jim, let me interrupt a second here. Uh, can you confirm that your DAC is stopped? That what is stopped? Uh, the 16 millimeter camera. Yes, it is stopped. Thank you. Okay, Joe, we're... Careful, you're on me. Boy, that's a nice fresh one. There's the, uh... There's the answer to the... Gosh. Bump. Sure hate to go by that one. Okay, if we don't find a better crater, that might be a better one to come by, you know? Yeah. You don't find a fresher one? Yeah, that's the freshest we've seen. It's a great one. Oh, uh, well, approximate size, Dave? Uh, another fresh one over there at 11 o'clock. Okay, it's about uh, 
20, 25 meters across, and it looked like it excavated the bedrock. It had a very blocky ejecta blanket and blocky rims, and ejecta blanket was about halfway out, blocks on the order of about a foot and a half uh, at the largest, and uh, some angular, some quite angular. And there's glass at the bottom of that one. Yeah, yeah there sure is. is. Yeah, we're starting a slight uh, upslope now. Roger. As we approach the front, and what a beautiful view looking up that slope. In that, and you can see the liniments come yeah. down across there, can't you? Going from, uh, let's see, it's got to be uh, northeast to southwest. Huh? Okay, let's pick a, let's just head up the slope here. It would be great if we could get up to that uh, rather large, large mountain. I think that's too far away, Dave. I do too. And it's, this is getting, oh, 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 look at these here. Oh. Deep. Deep, but, but there's not much fresh ejector around them. Nope. Man, steep slopes, that must be 30 degrees on the side of a little old crater that couldn't be more than 10 meters across. We're heading for St. George, I think. Huh? Yeah. There are some uh, blocks now that look like uh, they're a foot, angular blocks. They seem like they're on the surface, Dave. Look over there at uh, 1130. Yeah. 11, 11.30. Yeah, they are. Most of them have been buried at this time, and those seem like they're right on the surface. Yeah, they're right on the surface for some reason. Oh, that antenna fell down. Okay, Joe, we're going uphill pretty good. Roger, Dave, copy. Uh, your updated range at station two is about 3.9 clicks. And if you'll park down sun, uh, we'll give you a nav update when you climb back on. All righty. Hey, we're reading 3.8 right now. Must be getting close. Don't you? That light, the light colored one out there? Yes, sir. That'd be a good one. But it looks awful rough up there, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's probably farther away. Dave, then we yeah. go. Well, well, we'll just keep pushing along here. There's a large block, uh, looks like about a five-footer out at uh, one o'clock. Anchor right. block. Yeah, you're right. Why don't we go there? It's, we're... In tow, we're going uphill. Yeah, Steve's dropped down to seven clicks. Yeah, if we just go straight over that big one. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Sounds good to us. Any place that looks good to the two of you. Looks fairly Okay, we're going through a big block here, Joe. It's one we just can't afford to miss. But it is to look at a big block. We're going to go look at a big block. It's the only big block I see anywhere. Yeah. Hey, we can get to that fresh one, too, Chip. Hang on. Hang on. Take it in. Jim, as you look back, can you see the rover tracks? Oh, uh, stand by. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could, Joe. I saw them when we stopped at the last stop. Okay, good. Sounds like the old Hansel and Gretel trick will work. Yeah, man. Okay, we're there, Jim. You can get off. You can try and get off. Okay, Joe, I'm going to give you uh, the nav update as soon as Jim gets off. Roger. I was going to give him some... Oh, you give it to him. I'll give it to him. Good. Let me go get the TV. Get okay, Joe, if you're ready to copy, here we go. 280-017-055-039-105. 
110 090 